Join us this weekend on Road Trip Warriors as we collaborate with Life of Pleasure for part one of the Apostle Islands Weekend Gathering. During this episode, we battle the odds just to make it to Sand Island. Before even beginning the journey to Lake Superior, half of our squad will become lost in a pitch black cave system with seemingly no way out. While the cave explorers use a clever way to escape the abyss, the rest of the adventure squad will realize they have forgotten a major survival necessity. After escaping the caves and making an emergency pit stop, we all finally reach the meeting point. From Sand Bay, we will launch our yaks and race the setting sun in hopes to make it to the island before dark to build our camp. Here we are, Adventure Squad. Grab your gear and let's go. Sure enough, right when we take off, <laughs> I <laughs> nice. wondered what the heck it was. There's no way it's going anywhere, like honestly. While one half of our squad departs for the meeting point, the other half decides to take a quick detour to explore a cave system. Let's check it out. It's in southern Minnesota which is on the way to the islands. It shouldn't take long. We should have brought the rope just to make sure we get Yeah, that. I forgot about the rope. Oh, fine. Hmm. Let's go in the big one. Oh, it's just a normal cave. Okay. A normal cave. Like, you see that every day. You gotta go in. You can't just come to the door of it. I hope you know that I'm, like, accomplishing one of my fears right now. And then we just, like, roll a rock in front of the door. <laughs> As the day grows older, it becomes apparent the caves are difficult to navigate. Recognizable landmarks are scarce, and many of the graffiti tags share similarities. On top of it all, there is no cell reception in this bunker of a cave system. There must be some way out. Let's find it. Okay. Do you see my goosebumps? Hey, this right here. It like did a circle? We haven't gone this way. One person disappears okay, here. Didn't we went this way? <laughs> we we came from a right really, really small tunnel. Yeah. I honestly have no idea how to get out. Well, you just keep exploring. Oh, yeah. Just remember the graffiti. There's a hole. Faster. Do you know where we are? Nope. Two more options. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Just remember, we came here crawling. Uh, oh, my God. Human. Oh, uh, God. It feels so good. I saw bear shit in there. Using camera footage and their own senses, the group is able to backtrack and make it out of the caves. With this lengthy setback, let's hope we're able to not only make it to the meeting point, but to the island before dark. Let's see how the other half of the squad is doing. For the sake of time, they decide to take a so-called shortcut suggested by Google Maps. Unfortunately, this route also goes straight through the middle of nowhere Wisconsin, which not only has poor quality roads and virtually no cell service, but absolutely no grocery stores or gas stations. Let's hope we come across a store somewhere to buy life-sustaining food, which we may or may not have forgotten to pack. My bad, girl! Where are we at, yo? I don't know. Don't know. Okay, so, are we... Mine's not loading. We got no food. Dude, we made it. 
you see the cold beer sign? That way you stop. <laughs> With a bundle of food fit to feed an army, we will continue to the meeting point to group up and prepare to launch the yaks. When it gets at its lowest, it's a little bit left of there. Let's go! Oh shit, somebody stop him! I can't wait to crack this fucking hole on all my damn nerves when we get there. Check out the moon popping up back there! Part of the squad lands on the island just as the last bit of daylight dissipates. The rest of us are forced to paddle towards shore through complete darkness. Those on shore flag the rest of us in using a strobe. As we attempt to land the yaks, we are tossed around by the waves and find it is extremely difficult to maneuver on the shoreline. Many of us take on water while others decide to partially submerge themselves in frigid water to help others to shore. Once we all make it, we can sit by our fire and enjoy ourselves. Oh no, that is bad. Oh, I hit my leg! After warming up by the fire and feasting on some freshly cooked burgers and brats, the adventure squad decides to call it a night. With four of us slung up in hammocks and four of us in tents, let's hope to make it through the night without being stormed on or having a curious bear check us out. Hey, it's Dylan here. Thanks for joining us this weekend on Road Trip Warriors for part one of our two-part Apostle Islands weekend gathering featuring Life of Pleasure. Take a second to thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you thought of the video in the comments section below. Also, check us out on Facebook and give us a like. If you'd like to show your support for Road Trip Warriors, you can also purchase merchandise from our shop on Facebook. Again, thank you guys for watching and get ready for part two. Take a minute to check out our friend Jared Bernardi's channel, Life of Pleasure, to see more exciting adventures. We'll see next weekend.